pity and showing us what his Ronnie does. As a chaps, we off to go and sit in bush pig blinds. We on the farm and we are yeah, busy um, for the weekend to tackle some pigs. I got my old man, he's gonna sit in the blind with us tonight. So him and I are sitting in our hotel and my brother and a buddy of ours, Etienne, are sitting in the new blind um, where we shot the big sow with Alex the last time we were here. We've got a new boar that's coming in to the bait site. So hopefully I can get my dad to shoot that one and then we're gonna take a crack at a couple of other pigs. So wish us luck. Rifles are all set in and hopefully we fill the cool room. Cheers. Morning guys, uh, just a recap on what happened last night. The wind kind of got the better of us and um, our lights turned off really early because we've had some shitty weather here. It was all overcast and rainy the whole of yesterday so our solar lights didn't charge up so they worked for about four hours when they normally work for between six and eight hours. So we lost light at our bait site um, when my dad and I were sitting at around about 8 o'clock, um, the lights went out. But at least saw some action. There was the ball that we want to shoot there in that group with my dad didn't come in. But the sow was very wild in the wind. But it was about 40 kilometers an hour, the wind that was, that was blowing there. So, yeah, and then my brother and Etienne, I don't know if you guys have seen the video that I posted, but they got at the pigs. The pigs all came in. And when they were getting ready to settle to to shoot to, the boar turned and chased one of the sows at a little bit late for the for the milly feast. So yeah, and then also they battled with the with the wind swirling and stuff. Everything was just a little bit a little bit wild. But we are hunting today. We taking taking a walk. Hopefully get our hands on some war dogs. Um, only problem is it's a, it's a little bit a little bit windy still today but the good news is tonight when we go and sit in the blind the wind drops right down to 10 9 kilometers an hour so yeah we should be we should be lucky um, but it'll keep you guys posted it's just awesome being out in the bush and just enjoying the outdoors regardless of what the weather is cheers guys Yeah. 
guys. Good evening. What day two? You know, one of our new blinds. He sat here last night um, and it's a bit windy. Pigs came in on normal time. I think we've been checking the cameras. He had about half or six, four or six. Um, we've got a sound of it's five pigs, there's two boars and uh, some sows. Uh, we are sitting here, myself and my buddy Etienne. We're going to be, it's about a 25 meter shot, I don't know if you can see his bait set up, cameras and lights. Yeah, so yesterday we, the wind pumped here, we had probably 30 kilometer winds and in this little valley it, it swirled quite a lot. Uh, pigs came in, yeah, they were very spooky, they hardly ate. Um, and when we checked cameras today, they came back at about 10 o'clock and then back at 2 o'clock and finished up the bait site. Uh, much better evening, a bit warm. You can see my face is shining a little bit. So, yeah, we're going to test out some new toys. Got a little Ronnie sitting here on the bench. First time we use Old Faithful 306. It's a bit overkill, but at least it does the job. And our Etienne's also got a, a Ronnie there in his hands. So we're going to try and take each a pig first with, with a rifle and then if they do come back we will test our skills with the, with the Ronnies. So wish us luck, we'll chat the Oaks later um, and hopefully we've got some good news and not bad news. Guys, we heading home after our weekend. I'm sitting passenger, I'm driving. They were very lucky as you saw in the videos um, on their bait site. Last night my dad and I were unlucky. Um, not because we didn't see anything, our pigs came in. But what we didn't realize, one of the staff members' dogs had followed us down to the bait site and was parking off cheesy underneath our blind. So every time the pigs came in, the bloody dog chased the, the pigs away. So the first lot of pigs came in on time like clockwork and they just like beelined it and we didn't, couldn't understand what was going on. And then an hour later some pigs came in and next we heard this growling noise underneath the, underneath the blind and out runs the sheepdog and it chased our pigs away. So uh, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't a complete failure. We got two pigs we were expecting to shoot between yeah, at least six pigs the weekend, but yeah, and lucky with the wind on the first night, which made everything wild. But the second night was absolutely perfect. Um, if the dog hadn't come and spoiled the fun, we would have we would have had lots of fun on the blind. But hey, guys, um, keep posted. We gonna hopefully get some other hunting in before the end of the season. Um, more pigs. We're going to try out the new blind I'm through this next week and yeah, keep you posted on what size pigs we've got coming in. Cheers!